but how it applies uh, to the broadcast business is that, that for, you, for you guys, it's about getting content out there all the time. It's a steady stream. And so people can't completely reinvent how they do things. You know, what our, what our goal has been and will continue to be going, going forward on an expanded basis is to empower people to do their business as, as usual, to let operators, 2D operators, be able to operate the way they've operated, let the production models be the way they, they have been and, and empower, empower that. And I think to put a little meat on the bones of what you were saying, when we started down the path of, of, uh, of thinking about making feature films in 3D, you know, I approached that as a director saying, well, I don't want to change how I make movies. I think the language of cinema is what it is. Different people have different styles and, and so on. But uh, I don't want to be denied my, my normal tool set of, of hand-holding, Steadicam, Technocrane, uh, you know, all, all, of, all of those tools and the ability to move the camera fluidly. So we had to satisfy ourselves before we committed to doing a major, you know, multi-hundred million dollar feature in 3D, that, that, uh, that it would not be a compromised film, that the 2D viewing of that film would be just as good as, as if that film had just been a 2D production. I won't say just as good as the 3D, because we have to believe that the 3D adds value, and I think we've seen <laughs> that it does. But it would be just as good as the 2D if the film had been just made as a 2D title with no compromise, no silly editing, no hanging on a shot indefinitely just because it's a cool 3D moment, and no loss of dynamic quality to the movie because the cameras are big and heavy. So we went toward a, a, a set of systems, camera systems, that was very lightweight, stripped down, streamlined, and we went to people like Sony and so on and said, how can you help us facilitate <coughs> this idea for a camera system? And we proposed that they separate the image sensor from the, the camera electronics, which they did at that time. And we, we were able to create a camera. Uh, I personally operated the camera on Avatar for everything except the steady cam shots. And I can tell you, the camera weighed 27 pounds, and it was very easy to manage, even to run with. Certainly walking, kneeling, uh, all of that sort of thing was, was all fine. Most people don't know this, but when we were shooting with the... Uh, reality camera system on our documentary films in 2001, 2002, 3. Um, that was about a, about a 25 to 30 pound system, depending on how we had it configured. Uh, and most of those films, even though they were blown up to IMAX, were, were handheld. They were operated on the shoulder, as well as the other conventional tools. So people have recently said, oh, we did the first handheld in 3D. Like, well, yeah, except for the stuff that was done almost a decade earlier. Uh, <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you are not in Kansas anymore. You are on Pandora. You should see your faces.
Have you been there? To see his face smoke? Like it's been at the fountain of youth? Depends on the light.